Blanche, you have been one of my closest, dearest friends for all these years. Great talent, and you went through so much hard, difficult work to get where you are now, and you've earned all the accolades, but in all this time, perhaps the thing that I think about most, when I think about you is, I never liked you. I never liked you. Hi Angie, this is Rich Powell. I want to say thanks for all the years of laughter and uh, inspiration. I want to say with admiration, congratulations. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Hello cartoonists! Anton here. From Sydney, Australia. G'day, mate. Um, Angelo, you don't know me. I don't know you, but I certainly know your work, and I love it. Um, I love your gorgeous lines, your sumptuous form, your sweet, deep blacks. Uh, seriously, amazing. I grew up reading uh, Mad Magazine and seeing your work uh, throughout the years, and um, I think you're an amazing artist and I really wish I could be there to meet you today, tonight. Um, but I can't, I'm stuck here. So anyway, I will have to make do with that and you'll have to make do with this video. See you later. Have a great night guys. Bye. Sweetie, mm. are we forgetting something? <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, honey. And you, Angela. Hi, it's just me, Kit Lively. Uh, just wanting to uh, wish you congratulations for your Lifetime Achievement Award. Very impressive. I realize you have no idea who I am, and as you can see, that's probably for the best. But regardless, sincere congratulations. Have a good one. Hi, Angelo. Sorry I couldn't be there this weekend. I really wanted to. I think that this Kniff honor is a great thing, and you well deserve it. But I'm down here at Walt Disney World in my new gig. I'm playing Gaston at the Magic Kingdom. So I'm too busy, you know, got to do a lot of work, but excuse me. But uh, have a great evening. Congratulations. You really deserve it. Hi, I'm probably Mark Ivanier. July of 1970, I, a kid raised on Mad Magazine, paid his first ever visit to their editorial offices in New York. There was a guy named Sergio with a big handlebar mustache. I don't know whatever happened to him, but he showed me around. He introduced me to Bill Gaines and Al Feldstein and Nick Magelin and Angela Torres. And I thought, Angela Torres doesn't work for Mad Magazine. Well, it turns out he did as of that day. He was handing in his first ever article for them. It was called, If Everyone Talked Like Don Rickles, and it was beautifully drawn, and it was prescient too, because we have a presidential election going on right now and everybody talks like Don Rickles, including the candidates. He followed it with another great job and another great job, and pretty soon we all accepted him as another one of the usual gang of idiots, and Mad Magazine was not complete for decades without a wonderful job by Angela Torres. He's very deserving of this award. Congratulations. Oh, he didn't draw this, but he could have. He's that good.
Hola Ángelo, felicidades, es un premio muy bien merecido, tantos años de trabajo, como me hubiera gustado estar ahí. Oh, I'm sorry, I was speaking in Spanish. I'm so glad, I wish I was there with you, but that distance, you know, I cannot make it. Uh, I know a lot of people cannot make it because we live so far away. I, I know Nick cannot make it, but that's good. If, if Meglin is not there, he will not bore us with all those fantastic trips that we take to Europe and uh, all the food that we ate and all the Puerto Rican things with all the garlic, you know. Nick's there. Nick is there? Nick made it? Oh, Nick! Oh, so glad you could make it. Uh, I'm just joking, you know. <laughs> Without you, we would be nothing. Angelo would have never done what he's done, and he will be still uh, cutting sugar in Puerto Rico, and I will be still singing with a mariachi band. Never mind. Felicidades, Angelo. Un gran abrazo. I wish I was there with you. Angelo has always been one of my closest friends. He was the first friend I had from Mad Long Before Mad. I met him in art school, in school of visual arts, long before his career started. And after all these years, I must say, Angelo, I never liked you. <laughs>